Yeah. I heard this thing was really good. Uh, How are you? I'm left. Unbelievably unfortunate. Very good. All right, we're live. Better than. Welcome back to a lovely day of baseball here. Yeah, it was really good. At LA Pierce. Yeah, it was really good. Wilson Contreras. Joe Kelly Field. <laughs> Joe Kelly's going to make an appearance today. The LA Pierce yeah. Ramas today at home playing against uh, West Stuff. Yes. West Stuff. Hey, what are you doing this week? I don't know. Huh? What are you doing a lot? What are you doing a lot? Sardo, Bretham, and Zach Gallon, because they're bums. Down the drain, what happened? What? You just absolutely sent your team for one of the... Better teams than you. Probably no, the worst team. no, I didn't. You watch, because Nest, Nasty Nester. I'm gonna go back. I don't know how to go back. I'm gonna go back to the top of the area. I'm playing it. 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 I'm um, yeah, Nasty Nestor, Cy Young, remember. Okay, chill out. She had, like, two good starts. Nestor Cortez. And another one today, 24 fantasy points so far. There's no Ranger Suarez. You're losing to, you're losing to Tony. I know. That's, <laughs> that's my fault, dude. What are you doing today? I'm only down by 30. I was down by 50 yesterday. I'm making a comeback. And he's got four never be starters down. today. To me? should never be down. My team's I'm pretty only... solid. It's still solid. My team's just not playing to their full potential. Never. I'm going to beat you. Who's I'm going to beat you, Sketch. What? No, I'm good, thank you. What, what? what are you doing? What are you doing? Remember, he's just like sitting here. Yeah, Remember, Mom. We got two. Well, I better hear you over on the on the mic. Why? I don't think Will's gonna give it to me after what I said yesterday. What'd you say? That was so stupid. What do you say? He walked say? over and it JJ, was like, JJ. finally JJ with a hit or something. No, oh I said God. no, no. I said finally JJ pulls it. It's like fastball. Oh wait, I was right next to you. you That's said crazy. That. That's crazy. You know, but like he was like. And we were like, that was not. <laughs> we'll take a, don't know what he's doing. <laughs> we'll take it back so quickly. Wait, you gave him. Wait, you said on Mike? Yeah, on Mike. Yeah. You like, should have followed up by saying a story about how he pulled inside basketball. Yeah, I say that's his first inside like kid he's pulled all year. <laughs> first ball, he's hit the left center gap. <laughs> yeah, on a yeah. fastball hand. That would have been better than. This morning, I walked into Jay. I'm like, Jay, you hear my comments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, am I taking the mic today? No. You should give it to Tomac. Give it to me. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Pierce College doing? <laughs> We're live. Jaden, Jaden Umali, why are you saying that on live stream? <laughs> Jaden Umali. My name is Rogan Kimaru. <laughs> and, I'm and I am a homosexual. Mike, what are we doing? We're live, hot mic, and we're just saying whatever flies. <laughs> Great job, guys. Way to... How many people do we have on? Yeah. None. Oh, good. oh, no one's watching? No one's watching. Yeah, it's it's as live. if it gets recorded and like... No one's gonna watch it. It's, it's not gonna watch it. This is the one that's I'm going, I'm ducking on Yesterday we had... Will, you're in the shot. 43? Yeah, through the game. Really? Yeah, through the game. Will, you're in the what shot. What was the Like 16. Yes, 700. Huge. Who? Who? And you're not one of them watching. You're damn right. Not really. Well, this is why we can't set up over here. I was working my ass off at Chili's. We got all the start, guys start. over here. The, their field play. I have 286. What? Home runs. Do you really? Yeah, big book. Let's check home runs. This is only. Oh my god. Hit a home run, you're a bitch. What? Who's yeah, the yeah, highest slugging yeah, percentage? Yeah, you can't hit a home run, you're a bitch. Nope, I've been on BP. Nope. Nope. Yes! Uh, doesn't count. doesn't say in the game. JJ did too. I have more BP bonds than that, but I guess what? <laughs> yes, more BP bonds. <laughs> I have more BP bonds. <laughs> doesn't count because it's not in the game. You only have more in game. We have more bombs than Logan Kim in his life. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I so think I have more than you, Kim. I doubt it. How many do you have? Someone, I don't know. Someone has I'm gonna have to actually like tell you. What? You. Yeah, fuck no, not today. Hey, we're, up, we're live, bro. Yeah, chill out with the language, buddy. Yeah, wait, wait, no, someone has to be on music. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. We're a bad example. Dude. I know you guys are not talking. Terrible broadcast. Can we mic someone up this game? Okay, everyone get out of here. <laughs> Wait, is it actually, I need someone on music. I'm not liking music. Huh? What are you doing? Play? Play? What am I? Dude, what are I might play too, brother. Hey, guess what? You don't look like you're in it is. Hey, Wait, why can't you do it? Do what? Because then I have to be at 20 different places at once. What are you doing? 
Yeah, it's right here. Music then come stuff, back to do the broadcast. Whatever, no, no, huh. it's right I can play music. Go for it then, brother. It's in there. Huh? I'll stay here. There you go. Molly's Someone else go gonna play music. Huh? Huh? Bro, I already do everything. I'm so ready to see home plate. Why? What do you mean? Wait, oh yeah, you I can't... fucking love baseball. Bro, it's live. live. So? Wait, can you see home plate when you move? Barely. Can you? Barely. <laughs>
WSC Network. You're watching this on the LAPC Baseball YouTube account. Make sure you're subscribed and hitting that bell for notifications so you get the alerts for any live stream updates, including any updates regarding any players or the team itself. We're back here in the top of the sec second inning. Pierce and Cuesta still looking to get their first runs across the board as both Jaden Shim and Jackson Cloud, the pitchers for both teams, doing an excellent job here. Shim's first pitch to the third baseman, Mikey Bell, is going to be low for a ball. Quickly a 1-0 count here. Shim was able to get out of a couple of 3-0 jams in the last inning. Definitely not wanting to put himself back in those positions here early in this game. Especially against a Cuesta lineup that has just been dominant all season when it comes to the bats and the offense for the Cougars. That pitch is going to be in there for a strike, however. Now a 1-1 count to Bell. Bell coming into this season, batting 329 again. This dominant hitting for Cuesta. Hard to ever find a player really batting lower than 250. That ball is going to be lined over to right field. Landon Raskin looked like he wanted to die for that ball. Ends up tripping and falling just short of the ball. Bell is going to be up with a stand-up triple on the miscue by Landon Raskin over in right field. Wanted to make a play, couldn't fully commit. Feet got caught up in the grass here at Joe Kelly Field, and it'll get down for a triple to start off this inning. Jaden Shim definitely not going to be happy about that. Now the designated hitter, Pranav Sundar, steps into the batter's box for the Cougars, takes that pitch, blowing in the dirt for ball one. Sundar, one of the most dominant hitters in the conference so far through 97 at-bats, hitting 330 with a 451 on base percentage. Two out count to Sundar Shim's next pitch going to be in there, finds the zone for the first time at this at bat. Quickly, a two one count now. Shim taking a look over at third base where Mikey Bell stands. Shim's pitch going to be swung on down the line, called foul by the home plate umpire. We'll bring up a 2 2 count now. Danny, I got it. Get the ball, Danny. Get the ball, Danny. A new perspective here for the Brahmas on this broadcast. Home games usually see us behind home plate, but we're testing out a few kinks here. Right, trying to figure out we can use multiple sources. That ball going to be in the dirt. Now a full count. No outs. A runner 90 feet away from scoring. Jaden Shim not wanting this runner to come across, especially doesn't want another runner on the base paths in the dar. Sundar, excuse me. That pitch fouled off. Sundar doesn't want anything free. Sundar looking to get on base, trying to boost his 330 batting average on the year. Shem gets his pitch, takes a deep breath through the windup. Call the strike. It'll be Shim's first of the day. Definitely needed that. Sundar not happy with the call. It'll bring up Sean Stripmotter, the second baseman for the Cougs. I don't know. Shim's first pitch to Strand Motter is going to be fouled off towards the dangerous service road here at Pierce College. Quickly an 0 1 count here. What? 
Stray Monitor on the year, hitting 373, 530 slugging, 430 on base percentage as he takes that one up in the zone for a ball. One one count here. Still a runner on third. Shem looking to come all the way back from giving up that first hitter. Triple that ball just missing the zone. Low. Now a two one count. Fastball is going to be swung up. Bell seems to be tagging from third. Landon Raskin going to catch this one. Bell takes off to home plate. Almost cut off by Lucas Escalante. Almost gets the out at home plate. Shoe is not able to put the tag down in time. First run will come across here in the game. Gives Cuesta the early 1-0 lead here. But still two outs here for Shim. Trying to get out of this inning with that little damage dealt. Hoping that the Brahmas come out in the bottom of the sec second in a huge way. First pitch to the first baseman, Hayden Klein, is going to be a ball. Now a 1 0 count. Shem's next pitch. Just missing the zone. Put the bit up and away. Now a 2 0 count. Shim just trying to bury these pitchers now. Uh, hitters, excuse me. <laughs> Comes through the windup. Swung on and missed by Klein. Klein, that powerful swing, definitely trying to boost his 280 batting average coming into this game. This game. does slug at a 53% rate on base percentage, steady at 36%. Now sees himself with a 3-1 count opportunity to get on base, definitely giving the green light here in a hitter's count. Shem getting his pitch through the windup. In the dirt, it'll be a walk for Hayden Klein. Let's go, let's go. That'll be the first free base for Jaden Shim today. A run has come across. And now he has another runner on base. Braden Kimball now steps up to the plate. Kimball hitting 259, 487 on base percentage, 519 slugging. Crazy to think that one that is one of the worser stats for this quest the lineup. As it's still pretty strong, but compared to his teammates that are hitting 300, 310, 320 and upwards. He takes that for ball one. Ball two, excuse me. That said, Kimball, only 27 at-bats so far. Seen himself playing 14 games. Is responsible for nine of the runs across the board for the Cougars. Pickoff attempt by Jaden Shim will be unsuccessful. Does have two home runs on the year. Next pitch he sees low and outside. Now ball three. Another 3 0 count here for Jay and Shim. Again, just trying to limit free bases here for the Cougars as they do take advantage. His next pitch, fake steal over at first, won't matter. He'll make his way on over to second regardless as there are now two runners on. A runner is in scoring position. And Nathan Reese, the center fielder, is going to step up to the plate. Not before pitching coach 
Alex Regaldi is going to step out, have a word with his starting pitcher. Adam Yamashita, the second baseman, going to run on over. Try and get a better understanding of what's going through the pitcher's mind right now. After giving up that triple to Mikey Bell, I say gave up. It was definitely a hard play to make. Out in right field, Raskin shifted the wrong way as Bell, not necessarily the biggest oppo hitter for the Cougars this year. Thought he'd hit it more towards center, right center. Instead, he puts it steadily down the line. He's able to stand up safely at third with that triple. Shim able to get the strikeout on Sundar. And then Sean Stremotter. Sacrifice fly to Landon Raskin getting his redemption on the first play of the inning. But now Klein and Kimball find themselves at second and first respectively as Shane and Shim giving them free bases here in the top of the second inning. Trying to limit any more scoring for the Cougars here. He gets his pitch, takes a look over at second base, fires it in. This is the zone high for ball one. Shim gets his pitch again. Comes to the windup. Kicks. Finds the zone. Now quickly a 1-1 one, one count here. Two runners on base. Reese the hitter. Wanted to pull the trigger, holds back on the inside pitch, called a strike regardless. Now going to be a 1-2 one, a one down here. Shim trying to get out of this one. Foul ball called on the lower part of the zone. It'll be the first looking strikeout for Shim, his second one of the day. Now the Brahmas get their chance to answer back on the run scored by the Cougars. One nothing game here as we head to the bottom of the second inning.
my Back here on the WSC Network, we're bringing you Brahma's Baseball here on the LAPC Baseball YouTube account. Brahma's find themselves trailing requested Cougars I don't, I don't by a score of 1-0. Jaden Shim still going to find himself up on the bump as the one-hitter for the Cougars, Diego Murillo, steps up to the plate here. <laughs> Trying to tack on more and runs Lennon, for Cuesta. Uh, Shim's first pitch, low, ball one. Up to the base. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start moving around, big boy. Already? Yeah. That's what you said. They said just move around like that. Okay. But like not to like just throw. Yeah. Okay. Shim He's takes a deep breath on the bump. His pitch swung on to the shortstop. Oh, yeah. Back from Sim catches it on a run. Take okay. a minute to collect it. Throws it easily on over to his first base counterpart, Lucas Escalante, for the first out of the inning. Murillo still searching for his first base hit of the day, as well as Makani Nabarro, who's stepping up to the plate. Now the left fielder for the Cougars. First pitch, not going to find the zone. 1-0 count for Shim. Drops the ball after collecting it from his catcher, Dylan Shim. Next pitch. Bun is shown by Navarro. He'll foul it off, however. Now brings up the 1-1 count. Shim trying to replicate his first inning went one two three through the first three hitters of this quest to line up it's the bottom half that have caused issues for Jaden shim on the mound his next pitch swung on down the line called foul past a scrambling lucas escalante at first base it'll now be a one two count here one out for shim again problems started with that cleanup hitter, Mikey Bell, got a triple to start off the hitting for Cuesta. Sacrifice fly later on allowed him to score. That's how we find ourselves here at one nothing ball game. Shim's next pitch, just high, missing the zone. Two two count now. Takes a deep breath, taking his time on the mound. Not too much, though, as that ball is going to be lifted into center field. Lamar's another center fielder coming in. He'll field it cleanly and make the catch. Another fly out for Makani Navarro. Now brings up the three hitter, Jack Clothier. Clothier 0 for 1 on the day and popped up to the shortstop JJ Fax from Sint in his first plate appearance in the first inning. Shim trying to retire the side here. First pitch barely missing the zone. 1 0 count. Very loose on the mound. Shim, his pitch off speed, finds the zone. 1-1 one, one count here. A fluid pitcher, Jaden Shim. She likes to go with the flow. Doesn't necessarily get too caught up in the moment. Doesn't show a ton of emotions on the mound. Just goes pitch by pitch as that one's going to be fouled off by Clavier. Definitely trying to redeem himself of his last start. Can't remember who it was against. I want to say either Santa Barbara or Ventura. That pitch swung on and missed. Jaden Shim with his third strikeout of the day. It'll be the second one swinging for the Cougars. Shim able to retire the side for the side for the second ball game as we head into the bottom of the third inning. Here's College Brahmas trying to find that first run. Hopefully getting it now.
you're on the WSC network, because you know, you're watching this on the LAPC baseball YouTube account, make sure you're subscribed and hitting that bell for notifications so that you stay alerted on any live stream updates, including any updates regarding the team and or players here at Pierce College. Adam Yamashita going to lead things off here in the bottom of the third inning. Didn't start against Moore Park yesterday. Finds himself starting at second here today. His first pitch from Cloud is going to be low for a ball. Quickly a 1-0 count here. Yamashita comes into this game hitting 222, 364 on base percentage. 278 slugging, definitely a small ball player as he takes that for a strike. Now a 1-1 one, one count, that also for a strike. Now 1-2 quickly here. Cloud trying to get his team back in the dugout as soon as possible. Brahma's trying to prevent that from happening. His pitch off speed, catches the outside part of the zone. It'll be a looking strikeout. Cloud second of the day. Brahma's head back to the top of the lineup with J.J. Torrente, the designated hitter. Saw himself ground out to the shortstop of the Cougars in his first plate appearance to start off the hitting for the Brahma's first pitch by Cloud. Off speed again in there for a strike. Quickly battling an 0-1 count here. Looking to get something started here for the Brahmas. Torrente going to take that one outside for ball one. Now a 1-1 one, one count. Torrente yesterday against the Raiders. 0 for 5. Trying to redeem that today. In a sticky spot here with a 1-2 count. Next pitch swung on straight back to the pitcher. Cloud finds it in his glove. Throws it on over to his first baseman, Klein. And there are quickly two outs here for the Brahmas. Stephen Murray steps up to the plate now. He also grounded out to the shortstop like Torrente. Game going by quickly here. Cloud, his pitch low in the zone for ball one. Next pitch low again. Now a 2 0 count. He's going to take that off-speed pitch up in the zone for ball two now. Four-pitch walk for Stephen Murray. Finds himself on base. Wyatt Lamarzna. His chance here to try and move him over. Already one for one on the day with a single to the left field gap. Murray on first gets his lead. We saw Cloud mesmerized by Escalante last inning over on first base. See if he replicates that same strategy as why it's going to take that for ball one. For ball one zone. Power plane seen in the distance here. Not sure what they're flying around for. As again, another pickoff attempt by Cloud is going to be unsuccessful. Again, Cloud seems to be picking off almost as much as he's pitching here. Whenever he gets a runner on, he'll pitch this time. Check swung. Check swing by Lamarzna. Not going to come all the way around. Quickly, a 2-0 count here. Another pickoff attempt by Cloud. Unsuccessful. Still a 2-0 count for the Brahma center fielder. Trying to keep that clean sheet on the day as he gets his second plate appearance in the third inning. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Powerful swing by Lamarzna. Isn't going to touch anything, though. Now brings up the 2-1 count. Again, the Brahmas. 
just looking to potentially even match the run that was scored by the Cougars in the first inning, a second inning, excuse me. Stephen Murray takes off, slides head first, will be in there safely. A runner in scoring position as the design hit and run is unsuccessful. Lamar's in the swings through the pitch, doesn't connect on the off speed. Now a 2-2 count, but still a runner in scoring position. Twos across the board with two outs as well for the center fielder of the Brahmas. Poised to get a hit here. Cloud looks back at Murray. Deals down the line. Bell able to make that grab. Throws it on over to Klein, his first baseman, and they get the play done easily here. Brahmas still searching for their answer from that one run inning in the second. Not going to be in the third. We'll head over to the fourth as they trail 1-0 to Cuesta.
Back here on the WSC Network with Brahma's Baseball. We're heading into the top of the fifth inning, blowing through this game as we are barely getting through the one hour mark of this game. Already see ourselves halfway through. Jaden Shim and Jackson Cloud, the pitchers for the Brahmas and the Cougars, respectively, having a day. First pitch by Shim to the first baseman. Klein is going to be low for a ball. And only run coming across on the mishap in the top of the second inning. Bell able to get over to third on a triple. That ball hammered down the line. It's not going to go anywhere. It's in foul territory. Luckily, nobody over there to get hit by pitch. It'll be a 1-1 count. Klein walked in his first plate appearance in the second inning. Next pitch lifted down the left field line. CJ Alina is trying to track it. Not able to get the play out. Looked like it did go over the fence in foul territory. However, a long strike for Shem. Definitely wanting to work more down. Not allowing the Cougars to get any more free runs here. Hey, back to the middle on. Here you go, kid. Shem's pitching today. It's been pretty solid so far. He's sitting on consecutive retirements of the side. Trying to do that a third time here. Cloud also on the same sort of trajectory as he retired the side in the bottom of the fourth. Shim's next pitch up in the zone, just missing. Now a 2-2 count here. Shim, calm and collected, on the mound, gets his pitch through the windup. Called, strike three. Shim's fourth strikeout of the day, the second one looking. Hayden Klein essentially just standing in the batter's box here for the Cougars as he did up that blast when in foul territory. Now with one out here, the catcher. Braden Kimball steps up to the plate. Walked straight after Klein in his first plate appearance in the second inning. First pitch by Shim is going to be lifted towards left fielder CJ Alinas. Comes in on it, makes the catch on the run easily. Quickly now, two outs here for Shim. Trying to go only through three batters here for the third consecutive inning. Has a chance to do so here with the nine hitter Nathan Reese stepping up to the plate. Reese 0 for 1 with a looking strikeout. One of the two Shim has on the day already. Shim calm and collected yet again. His pitch bunt shown. Not able to make contact as he pulls back from the called ball. Now a 1 0 count here for Shim on the mound. <laughs> Murray, the third baseman, now finds himself in line with third base, trying to react to the potential bunt by Reese. Instead, he swings and misses at the off-speed pitch that catches the outside part of the plate. Now a 1-1 count here. Shim trying to send his Brahmas back in the dugout, still looking for their first run on the board. Only trailing by a run here against what are the conference leaders in the Cuesta Cougars. Just been dominant all season long. This game, Brahma's holding them here to just a run. Brahma's did have an opportunity to beat them a few weeks ago over at the Cuesta College baseball field. Game went into extra innings. Brahma's not able to get the win. Reese is going to take that for strike two. Now a 2-2 count, twos across the board with two outs here. Shem looking to end this top half of the inning with his very next pitch. Come set, his windup swung. JJ Fagfum sent the shortstop running over to get it in shallow left center. 
He fields the ball very easily, and that'll be the third out of the inning. Three consecutive retirements of the side for Jaden Shim. Brahma's looking to use this momentum to try and tie and even lead this game here. We send it to the bottom of the fifth. Brahma's trailing by one. Back here on the WSC Network, bringing you Brahma's baseball here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Jackson Cloud still on the mound for the Cougars. CJ Alinas up to bat. Swings at the first pitch he sees, fouled off towards the backstop. Now no one count. Alinas looking to redeem himself of his swinging strikeout in the second inning. Making him 0 for 1 on the day. Swings at the next pitch off speed. Misses it. Now 0 2. Saw himself with a couple of strikeouts yesterday as well before he was able to play with that ball. Get on base with a fielder's choice against Moore Park. Swings and misses at that off speed. It'll be another strikeout for CJ Alinas. The first out for the Cougars as Landon Raskin, the right fielder for the Brahmas, is going to step up to the plate here. Cloud. Looking to get his second one, two, three inning of the day would be the consecutive one coming off of the bottom of the fourth. Landon Raskin first pitch popped up towards the service road. It'll go over the fence. Fans in attendance trying to catch the ball. Unlucky, however, as that souvenir is going to be for the bushes here at Pierce College. Raskin steps back up to the plate here. Finds himself 0 for 5 on the day. Lined out to the third baseman. Dow swings and misses at that off speed pitch. Now an 0 2 count here for Raskin. Cloud trying to just put the Brahmas down here, not let them get anything into the field. His pitch off speed called strike three. It'll be Landon's first strikeout of the day. Cloud's fourth strikeout on the day. Now brings up the nine hitter, Adam Yamashita, who is responsible for one of Cloud's strikeout in today's game. First pitch by Cloud. Bunch shown off speed again in there for a strike. Cloud loving his off-speed pitch here as it's been the predominant pitch in this inning. By myself just looking at these dropping off-speeds. There it is again. Now an 0-2 count here for Yamashita. Cloud looking to put away the Brahmas as quickly as they came up here. Gets his pitch through the windup. Swung on, fouled by Yamashita. Barely got a piece of it, but again, this off-speed pitch by Jackson Cloud, just forcing the Brahma hitters to remain clueless up there at bat. Here's Yamashita, swings at the next pitch. It'll be grounded towards the shortstop, not able to make the play in time. Yamashita trying to round the corner, make it to second base. He'll get there automatically as the ball rolls into the dugout of the Cougars. It's a base hit for Yamashita, but it will be an error enforced by the Cougars on his advance. Maybe a 
Make and sure he goes single E6. The shortstop, Diego Morello, fumbling with that ground ball, throws it away from his first baseman, Klein. And now the top of the order back up for the Brahmas as JJ Torrente steps in to the box. He hits that ball towards a diving Guerrillo. He makes the play on the dive. Excellent play by the shortstop. Does ruin any hopes for the Brahmas scoring this inning. And we send it to the top of the sixth. Brahmas again still trailing by a run here against the conference leaders, Quest Cougars.
WSC Network with Brahma Baseball. You're watching this on LAPC Baseball YouTube account. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you get the alert for whenever these live streams start, including any updates regarding the players or team for the Pierce College Brahmas. Patrick Fernandez bouncing up and down on the mound. Will stay there as he will come across the top of the lineup here for the Cougars with Diego Murillo who's 0 for 3 on the day, a couple of flyouts to the center fielder, Wyatt Lamar's now, and a ground out to the shortstop, J.J. Fack from Sin. First pitch, swung on, down the right field line, will be in foul territory. It'll be a long strike for Murillo. Actually, I get a left fielder or second base? One! Next pitch by Fernandez, going to get by the catcher, Dylan Chu, for a ball. Now a 1-1 count here. Words of encouragement heard from the middle infield of the Brahmas to their pitcher, Fernandez. His next pitch inside, nearly hitting Murillo. Now a 3-1 count, excuse me, 2-1 count. Low scoring affair here between the Brahmas and the Cougars. Patty's off speed in there for strike two. Finds that strike zone yet again. Trying to have the same start he had last inning where he struck out Mateos Melkesian. Ball's gonna be spiked in the dirt just in front of home plate. Now in full count here for Murillo. Patty definitely not wanting to walk uh, the lead off hitter here in this eighth inning. Swung on by Murillo. It's going to be picked up by Patrick Fernandez. Calmly. It will be the first out of the inning. That ball absolutely roped to Fernandez. He's able to pick it up. Two-way infielder and pitcher. Not much infielding this year. So he did have a bit of a strain on his back. Doesn't want to do too much. Finds himself as a pitcher only here for the Brahmas. First pitch to Makani Nabarro. He didn't like it. Umpire liked it. Strike one. Strike one. Oh, one count here for Fernandez. Quickly going through his pitches. Spikes that one in the dirt. Good block by Dylan Chu. No runners on, however. No effect on the potential pass ball. Wild pitch. Still 3-0 for the Cougars. We are now approaching our two-hour mark. Seemed like we were going to get through this game in under two hours, but a couple of delays regarding injuries, some pitching changes have dragged this game on a little bit, but we still find ourselves here in the eighth inning. Fernandez's pitch. High and outside, ball two. Two one count here on Navarro. One for three on the day. Flew out twice to center field. So able to get a base hit on a ground ball just like that. But Yamashita's able to learn from his last at bat where he got the base hit, positioned himself exactly where he hit it the last time. Yamashita picks it up on a hop. Throws it on over to the new first baseman, Aaron Ruvalcava, who gets the put out. Now Jack Clavier steps up to the box for the Cougars, right fielder. Off-speed pitch, oh, pitch. strike for Fernandez, quickly an 0-1 count here. If you're wondering where the starting first baseman, Lucas Escalante, went, he's in center, the left field now, excuse me. Check swing, no call by the field umpire down the right field line. Same fielding layout nonetheless, just the pinch hit of Rubacaba now at first. Escalante moved over to left field in replace for Elinas. That ball down the line called foul. Patrick. Thanking the umpire for that one. <laughs> Did not want that to be a base hit. Wants to keep his sheet as clean as possible. He has gone through one point two innings here. 
not giving up a hit, not letting anyone get on base. Still has one more inning in him. When we get to the ninth, hopefully by then Brahma's with a lead. Patrick Fernandez spikes that pitch way in front of home plate. I don't think that even touched the dirt. <laughs> Shu had no chance to catch that one. Fernandez, intense up there, trying to end this inning. Next pitch, up, check swung, not all the way, will be a ball. Now a full count here, as Clavier battles all the way back from a 1-2 count here. Umpire requesting for the baseball to be thrown in. Now thrown to the Brahma dugout. Umpire didn't like it. Now Fernandez with a new ball. Maybe this one is the one to give him his second strikeout of the day or potentially the third out here in the eighth inning. His pitch swung on and missed. Dylan Shu with the recovery and the block will throw it on over to Rubel Kaba for the last out of the eighth inning. It'll be the second strikeout for Patty on the day. And the Brahmas now heading into the bottom of the eighth, running out of time as they trail by three. Here on the WSC Network, bringing you Brahma Baseball. We head into the bottom of the eighth inning. Adam Yamashita going to lead things off here. One for two on the day with a single past the shortstop for the Cougars, Murillo. Dell, the third baseman, seemed creeping in, expecting fun. Yamashita is not going to show, but we'll take that for a first pitch strike. 0-1 count quickly here. Jackson Cloud still on the mound and delivering. That usual off-speed pitch going to miss. For the first time in what seems like a while, as Yamashita's not fooled by it this time. Cloud gets his pitch quickly through the windup. Off-speed again in the dirt. Yamashita nodding his head in approval. Some sort of understanding of where these pitches are going to be ending up. Next pitch by Cloud. Swung on through the 5-6 gap. It'll be a leadoff single here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Yamashita now two for three on the day. JJ Torrente, the one hitter for the Brahmas, is going to step up to the plate here. Brahmas like 100. looking to like take 100, advantage. Yeah. Of Jackson Cloud. Well, it, the iPad died, so then we had to switch it. Just pick so off attempts a by Cloud, not going to be successful. Yamashita I have slides and gets back up before I have Malkijan 91. Can even but it's probably think more. about throwing it back to his pitcher. Cloud's pitch. Another oh pickoff attempt. Going to be unsuccessful again. Ooh. Yamashita quick to get down, quick to get back up. Cloud looking to focus on Torrente here, who's 0 for 3 on the day. Trying to get his first base hit. Might come on that as that's through the 4-6 hole on the line drive towards the center fielder for the Cougars. Nathan Reese. Back-to-back -back singles. Jackson Cloud looking like he's being exploited here by the Brahmas. 
He's gone seven strong innings, but now finds himself with two runners on base, one in scoring position, and now that bullpen for the Cougars finally going to be active here. Cloud going to have to give his relief pitcher some time here. No outs. Bunch shown by Murray. Pulls back on the off-speed pitch in the dirt. It'll be a 1-0 count here. Trying to get his scoring runners over. So the Brahmas have a chance to win this game. Again, time running out here. We're already in the eighth inning. Three runs only across for the Cougars. Jackson Cloud has just been so dominant in today's game. But it looks like the Brahmas have finally figured it out. Bunch shown again. It's going to be popped up. No play is going to be made. Murray definitely going to be thankful for that. Catcher Kimball not able to make it in time. JJ Factum sent. Now sitting in the shade here at the broadcast booth. Hi, guys. <laughs> not sure if you can hear him or not. Hey, hey friends. How we doing? Says hi to the fans. baby. Promination. That's right. Says hi to the fans. Quick shout out to the girlfriend, JJ. Amber Revis. <laughs> Amber Revis, what school well, does she go to? Playing at Morgan State University. She actually has two games today. I don't know if she's watching right now. Oh, Bayla, I hope you're playing well. Oh, How cute. The ball. <laughs> the ball. <laughs> Completely distracted the from the game, but that's a 2 1 count. 2 1 count. Yeah, it's right. It's at Santa Barbara, and you were next to him talking. You're like, yeah, we got a hit. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Who Murray said that? steps up what to the plate, calls time. And then. Grabs some dirt on the ground, looking for more grip on his back, using the natural elements around him in order to get that grip. Two runners on for Murray with no outs here. 2 1 count. And Brahma's looking to take advantage of the long appearance by Cloud. That ball going to be fouled off on the double steal. Yamashita looked like he had a chance to get in there safely. Possibly could have been a designed hit and run for the Brahmas. It will be unsuccessful. And it brings up a 2-2 count here for Stephen Murray. Vacuum sent one for three on the day. Happy or what are, what are we what are we feeling on the performance so far? Honestly, I feel fine. Um, I feel like those are first grab after just missed it. What's the count? But uh, swing's feeling good. Just gonna keep it rolling for the rest of the season. Stephen Murray not rolling it there as he strikes out swinging. Just a handful of strikeouts for Cloud as Wyatt Lamarzna now steps into the box for the Brahmas. 16 RBIs for Lamarzna on the season, looking to bump up that total here with a couple of runners on base. Cloud's pitch looked out for a strike on the outer part of the plate. Cloud back up on the rubber. Again, looking to go through eight innings here. Flawlessly, pickoff attempt almost catches Yamashita sleeping, but he's aware. He knows what's going on. Gets back safely at second base. Lamar's now laughing up there. Not sure what about. Definitely not going to be about his two for three performance on the day so far. <laughs> Definitely a lot better than his Park performance yesterday. That ball going to be popped up. Going to get out of play here. Foul. <laughs> Lamar's now yesterday one for four with a single. Now today. Two for three with two singles, with two stolen bases as well as Nicholas Tomac, my co-host, reminds me. Definitely trying to bump up his stats in the conference. Those now 23 stolen bases on the season puts him in the top three in all conference. Next pitch he sees off speed inside for a ball. Now a 1-2 count here. Lamar's now looking to get on base by any means necessary. Only one down here. Wouldn't want this ball anywhere near the middle of the infield for a double play. Two green runners on base in Torrente and Yamashita. Swung on, 
over to the second baseman. Will not have a play at first. The fielder's choice. We'll see. Lamar's not on base. Yamashita will advance from second to third. But Torrente forced to bite the bullet there as he is thrown out at second base on the force play. Runner 90 feet away for the pinch hitter, Orion Hom Talklander. Hom Talklander with a start yesterday. Went two for three, two singles, was hit by a pitch in yesterday's bout against the Moore Park Raiders. He's seen hitting for the catcher, Dylan Shu. First pitch by Cloud. Up and away in the zone for ball one. Wonder where Talklander is going to be put in the field. Potentially could catch. As he is going to be covering for the catcher. Dylan Chu has seen himself catch a couple of games for the Brahmas. Not sure if any of them came in season, but in the fall, definitely tried his luck at the catcher position. Takes that off speed pitch for a strike. Now brings up a 1 1 count with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Brahmas with a run just 90 feet away, another one 180 feet away. Hey, Trying to get these runs in, Yamashita fake steal. It's not going to be successful. Ryan Hong top that are swinging and missing. At that off speed pitch, brings up a 1 2 count. Brahmas have left four runners on base so far in today's game. Trying not to make that total six. Lamarzna with the quick pickoff attempt isn't going to be successful by Cloud. Clouds pitch. Lamarza takes off. It's swung on by Han Talkander. They're not going to have a play at second base. Lamarza's going to round second. But they're going to get the out at first. Marillo keeping his composure with a sprinting Lamarza right in front of his face. Gets the out. At first base, Brahma still not able to score. Will leave two more runners stranded. And we head into the last inning. Cuesta still leading by three.
Austin Taylor's day, the relief pitcher for the Cougars is going to end as quickly as it started, only facing one batter, that being Isaac Samano, and gave up the walk. So no innings pitched, no strikeouts, no hits, no runs, but one walk for Taylor. And now Lucas Ward, the freshman right-handed pitcher, will step up to the bump for the Cougars. He's got a 3.12 ERA. Trying to shut this down for the Brahmas. Has given up a homer on the season so far. But again, Cougars bullpen not wanting to risk it. Has another pitcher active in their bullpen. Landon Raskin has an opportunity to end the game here with a potential blast. Again, only two on the season for the Brahmas. One of them coming in Tuesday's game against Alan Hancock, J.J. Trenton. It's an absolute kickoff attempt by Ward is going to be unsuccessful. New pitcher. Got to know what his last name is. Yamashita still in the on-deck circle for the Brahmas. Possibly no substitutions as there are no outs here. In the bottom of the ninth, first baseman, Melchizian creeping. First pitch strike to Raskin. Now brings up a 2-1 count. Melchizian, the substitute first baseman, basically almost halfway to home plate, expecting the fun. Landon has shown it twice in this at bat already. Shows it again. It's going to get it down. It's to the third baseman. Belly throws it over. Got the out at first. Raskin not able to beat it out, but does do a job moving over the tying run to 180 feet away from home plate. Now Adam Yamashita, two for three on the day, two singles. Strikeout started his day, has seen the success throughout the rest of today's game. Yamashita's first pitch in the dirt for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count, only one out for the Brahmas. No force play. No runner on first. Two runners in scoring position, enough to tie the game here. Ward's next pitch up and away for ball two. Now a 2-0 -oh count. Brahmas trying to get it done here as they've essentially trailed the Cougars all day today. But never giving up. That much of a lead, three being the most. Swings at the next pitch. Yamashita is going to foul it into the backstop here at Joe Kelly Field. We'll see a 2-1 pitch here and coming from Ward. Again, as mentioned previously, Cougars not wanting to take any chances. Does have a pitcher in the bullpen getting warm. We believe it's Carson Tanner, the freshman right-handed pitcher, another freshman right-handed pitcher for the Cougars, but we do not have the confirmation yet. Ward gets his pitch, Yamashita checks his swing, it's called a strike regardless, shakes his head in agreement with the umpire, knew where it was, wanted to go all the way through, hesitated here. Now Ward. 2-2 two, two count here against Yamashita. Two runners in scoring position. Big opportunity here for the Brahmas to pull off the upset. Ward's pitch. Off speed inside, nearly hitting Yamashita. He'll battle it out to a out to a here count. Butterfly <laughs> flies into the commentator's booth. Scares me half to death. And now she's chilling out with us. I'm gonna call this our good luck butterfly here in the booth. Ward gets his pitch. Yamashita going to look at it high in the zone, and Ward is going to walk the bases loaded. We go to the top of the order for the Brahmas. J.J. Torrente, who's one for four on the day, is going to see himself getting his fifth plate appearance on the day. So imagine that the starter pitcher picks up like a gem, and then like... The well, that's what I'm imagining right now. That's what I'm imagining. I have to imagine it. Great strokes. <laughs> JJ Torrente 
tying run 180 feet away. Winning run on first, takes that first pitch outside for ball one. One zero count here for the Brahmas. For Torrente specifically, Ward's next pitch checks swing at. JJ Torrente twirls in disapproval. Now a one one count here. That pitch Torrente clearly didn't like. He's looking to get it done here. Ward's pitch swung on. It's going to be a ground ball towards the second baseman. He'll field it, get to second base cleanly, and they will turn the double play to end the game. What a brutal way to go out. Again, the Brahmas find themselves with the second opportunity this year to try and upset the Cougars, and they're just not going to get it done. They lose the game 3-1, to one, but what an exciting finish here on Joe Kelly Field. Brahma's record now five and one, still holding on to those three conference wins. We'll be back on Tuesday. Brahma is going to be taking on Oxnard on the road, trying to at least not finish in last place in the northern part of the Western State Conference. I've been your designated broadcaster, Will Lewin, of the Los Angeles Pierce College Brahma's. Make sure you're subscribed and hitting that bell for notifications so that you get the alert every time we post these live streams and any updates regarding the team or the players for the Brahmas. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on Tuesday.